Okay, set this up. All right, somebody asked the other day in the comments about taking this one apart. Um, first thing, always, this is the uh, 015L. Always, when you're going to take one apart, drain the oil and fuel first, which is what these cans are doing over here. I got this seal out. I don't know if you fellas can see that. All I did was just went down in here with the little tuning screwdriver, kind of twisted it, and popped the seal right out. But I pinched the lip over here, so I got to order another one for this side, another seal. So that sucks. This saw will be a while. I did also put a new clutch on it this time, so clutch bell. So she should be she should be ripping. Got the piston stop in it. Don't need that for right now. I do need to rewind the, the cord on this one. The knot came out. You wouldn't think the smallest saw would have problem with the rewinder, but hey, the choke is easy. Just pop a screwdriver up under there and slide it up. It just comes straight out. Then it'll be the air filter and cover. Put that on there so tight. Okay. Still got the fleece one, although there are some bald spots. Okay. All right, see, now it is ready. I thought it had a n couple nuts on the carburetor. I forgot this one, the carburetor actually stays on the saw. All right, now we get the flathead. Mm -hmm. There's one in here, yep. There's one over here. I'm gonna go get a different scrunch. Okay, there's the same one. Hopefully with a better flathead. I think that's the one I broke or, you know, mangled the tip on and then had to grind. This one would be a factory ground. There it is, too. Once you get them broke loose, you can't actually take these out with the little, with the little one. Especially if you got a weird handle all offset. Well, it's actually coming forward, getting out the oil hole. That one was super tight. I swear, folks, I do not know who tightened that down. Must have been Mama. She must have been the one to put it together last. I'd never wrench on it that tight. Okay. And let's see. Just to stop. I can usually tell by the part number which one of my scrunches is messed up because 
that one came with the 009L, so it's an original 70s scrunch. These are newer steel scrunches, and they have a different number. So those who know, know that steel there is, is the original. Okay, and then this cover, you gotta watch the spark plug wire, but that's it. I've got a new wire. New. See that? I don't like this new one. This is supposed to be an OEM too, I think. The uh, fuel line like pulls so tight, which I guess as long as it stays on the carb and on there, that's fine. It's a little seal. Goes on the carb last. So there it is, gentlemen. Like, this is one of the simplest saws, too. Like, there is the saw. All right, I'm going to pull this crankshaft. This one's a regular thread. The clutch is opposite, but it's printed on there. Oh, good. This one. It's printed on there which side, which way takes it off. So, piston stop helps a lot if you got to pull the clutch. If you're just doing carb kit, fuel line stuff like that, I think that's what the guy was getting ready to do. And all I did was emptied the fuel tank, looked down in there, found the clunk hear it but anyways I fed it in through the fuel tank came out the big hole and then on worked out pretty well let me go ahead and pop this flywheel if I can I don't know that my flywheel tool fits this one there's a washer on it that's weird side doesn't come out like that all goofy looking. Great. This is the kind of stuff you find on eBay saws. <laughs> Sorry eBay. I know you don't like me talking shit, but I don't know if there's a threaded piece in this one. Oh well let me go get the flywheel for it. Always back that out before you screw it in there, guys. See if this screws down on this one. I guess it looks the correct diameter now, but.
guys. I guess that's as far as I get to show you because now I've got to deal with something. So hopefully that helps. I forget who it was that asked me in comments about taking this one up 